welcome to Artist Talk. I'm Juliana Cordero, and today I'm talking with some of the very talented artist members of Arts United, participating in the exhibition Reset, Refresh, and Ready at Bailey Contemporary Arts Center. Welcome, everyone. It's so wonderful to have you here today. I'm very excited about this conversation and learning even more about this exhibition at Bailey Contemporary Arts. Yeah. I want to get started with, you know, the title of the show, Reset, Refresh, and Ready. You submitted for this call to artists. So I want you to share a bit of the piece that we have for each of you in the, in the exhibition. And if there's any story behind it of why you selected this piece in particular, or in the case of Diane, the two pieces in the exhibition, what in the name made you participate in this exhibition? It's been a long, hard year. And uh, the reason I chose that piece is because it's two people and the title is protected. And I think that's what got us through, be it a partner, friends, family, someone got you through this year. We all, however happy we may always be, I think we've all had touches of depression and uh, it was tough, it was tough to get out of that. And so my piece shows some strength in togetherness and a new start. What is really beautiful about your piece is like, it shows through the colors, like you see there is this very thick of each of the strokes, each of the texture. In, in the painting and these two people are under this umbrella and there seems to be like a, some sort of a storm, but it's very colorful in the end. So your, your, your painting is really helpful. So I, I, I really appreciate it and I really enjoyed um, when, I, when I saw your piece. So how about, um, Diane, how about your two pieces? <laughs> um, I was looking for two pieces that kind of worked well together. And I had these two pieces that are kind of remind me of like warriors or fighters. And I thought it was appropriate for our time because it's a time to fight on and to continue uh, the, the, the battle to, to, to live our lives in a new, in a new world. And it, it was just that simple. It's simple, but it's powerful because when I was selecting the pieces, when I look at yours, um, and I know that you submitted three pieces, I realized I cannot just pick one. It seems to me that there is this connection between them exactly. that I say, you know, one is a protector of my lady and yeah. the other one is my lady. So they have to be together. They're separate. And, yeah, and like, but they, and but like they, their beings are separate, but they go together. They belong together. Exactly. That was what my intention was. Two pieces that would go together, that would fight on together that would continue the battle. <laughs> that, that's wonderful. So I'm glad I, I, I caught on that. So um, Rosaria, how about you? Uh, this period um, was a challenge for everyone. Having a partner made it a lot easier for me. So I had that gratitude of that. And this piece, which I call Lavender Love, uh, I selected it for this show because it was a hopeful piece going forward a piece of, about love. Flowers are about symbol also of hope. And of course, for me, the fact that I have lavender, it's, it's about two women, but it's the universal message of love and hope, basically. That's beautiful. It's very, it's very, it's very simple. And, you know, to, to the point, I really enjoyed um, your piece and how these figures, the more that you look at them, you start realizing different body parts that are not obvious but but they're there and once you see them like you're it's an aha moment and I think that it's kind of like the aha moment that we're having hopefully there's a yeah there's hope for us to to be there and really to be ready and so Chuck how about you raise the flag what what does it mean let's let's talk about it so a couple of things one during the pandemic well before the pandemic I walked the beach every morning and it was sort of my respite, my solitude, my saving grace. And I continued to do that. The beaches were only access to the sand was closed off, but the sidewalks were never closed off. And so that was very good for my mental health. 
And raise the flag was to me symbolic that the beaches are open and we're starting to see 2020 behind us, the vaccines are coming and you know, we're seeing a sort of light at the end of the tunnel and the, the flag actually, there are flags on that pole from the lifeguard stand that tells you that it's safe to go in the water today. So that's what, that's what that photo meant to me. Well, and I, I want to stay um, having a conversation with you. I want to focus on Arts United. I mean, you're, you're the leader at the moment about Arts United. So can you tell us what Arts United is, some of the programs, and even how people can get involved with your organization? Uh, so Arts United was started in 1999 uh, by uh, a gentleman named Eston Dunn, who was, had written a play, this very gay themed play. And if you can imagine back 20, whatever, 22 years, um, it was, didn't get, wasn't very well received. He couldn't find any funding to produce it. And some people heard a play reading and said, you know, you're not the only one. The LGBTQ community is probably being slighted in lots of ways. So maybe you should start a nonprofit that focuses on that. So our real focus was to make sure all artists got every opportunity um, that was possible and regardless of their sexual orientation. So that was our focus. And we're actually, if someone was asking me just today, probably 20% of our membership does not identify themselves as LGBTQ and that's great. So if for example, someone went through the exhibit today and you asked them at the end, which artists were LGBTQ and which weren't, and they can't tell you, that really proves our point. So it's about changing the public's perception, which then, you know, changes hearts and minds. Um, you know, in 2004, you know, 60 or 70 percent of the population thought same-sex marriage was unacceptable and 30 percent approved of it. And, you know, 10 years later, it was the reverse. But it's all because maybe you, you knew somebody was getting married or maybe you you saw a same-sex couple and something very personal to you changed your whole mindset in, in your heart. So that's what we're about. We do, it's $50 a year for a member, whether you're an artist or just an art lover. Um, most of our members are visual artists. So we focus on that. We use a gallery at Bona Time Restaurant to showcase one artist a month. And then we have group shows, like this is the first we're at, at um, Baca, thanks very much to you in the city of Papano Beach and the cultural division, shout out. Um, <laughs> we're happy to be here. We'll be at Gallery 21 this year in Wilton Manors. We'll be at ArtServe in Fort Lauderdale. We'll be at Hatch 1121 in Lakewood. And we'll be at um, the Arts Warehouse in Delray Beach, all group shows this year. So uh, we're very proud of that schedule. It's very diverse geographically. Um, so that's what we're about. We've In the past, we've had performances, like we had a Tony Award winning um, performer, Levi Christ, perform for us uh, two years ago. We've been at the Broward Center. We had a literary arts festival. So there's a whole lot of, you know, the arts that we've done in our history. And we're looking forward to having audiences back. Well, it's it's fascinating. And I hope that this is, this is the first of many exhibitions that we have at Daily Contemporary Arts. I think that the quality of the work that is in the exhibition and being part of your very prominent and a lot of um, very productive um, exhibitions calendar that you handle, I think it's actually an honor to be part of that very long list of, of exhibitions. So um, it is very, it's very great. And I saw that you recently did a, a new website. You redid your, your new website and it looks amazing. And I know how, how, how crazy it is to, to revamp websites. So kudos to you as well. <laughs> Part of the challenge is sort of like, as they say, herding cats, trying to get all our members, we have about 100 artist members to send in their information. So if anybody in this audience has not participated, you need to, because there's an individual page for each artist and, and we'll focus on you and it's, and it's great. We're just trying to help the artists market themselves, you know, and it's all included in a $50 a year membership. So the website, artsunitedflorida.com. So there's my plug. Follow us on yeah. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, I know that you, you're very active and 
looking at your website, that page, and in a, in a, from a curator point of view, the fact that each artist can have their own page, for me, it helps me a lot because now I know that I can go to your website and I can find the statements, I mean, any information that they give you, but I can find, instead of going to all these individual websites, I can find the information that I need just by going to your website. So the more complete and the more information that they give you, the more they help people like me who are always uh, scouting for artists that are local and you know that they could fill gaps in, in exhibitions that we're planning. So I thank you in the name of, well, at least from me as a curator that I can come and see, see work. Well, so, you were part of the inspiration for that because we, when I set out in uh, 2019 to expand our gallery schedule, that was the question that came up. What can you show me about the quality of the artist that you would include in the exhibit? And I was sort of dumbfounded as to personally selecting some artists like Rosario or Kathy or Diane and connecting whoever was asking that question with their information and i went back to the board and said what can we do to fix this so there you go Bravo. <laughs> rosario you wanted you wanted to add something to that point yes actually you uh just gave uh added another important plug for the website is that because it's an organization with the wonderful separate links to each artist it made it easier for you as a curator looking for art to find us because in the ocean of the internet, Instagram, whatever, it's, it's not easy. But to be part of a group that actually has a good reputation has value. And then on top of that, it also makes it easier for a curator to find wonderful artwork as part of a group. So that's a great plugging point too for being part of Arts United. <laughs> Absolutely. And so I want us to, this, this may be the, la the last question for this conversation, but I want each one of you to share with us, how did you get started in the arts? It's, I know it's a big one, but usually there is a spark that maybe happened at a young age. So I just want to know, uh, when did you decide to be part of Arts United, but also um, to do art? So let, let's start with Kathy. <laughs> okay, I have never not done art. I did it as a young child. And um, interestingly, I have a unique background. I come from a family of Holocaust survivors. So English was not their first language. I was not encouraged to do anything. It was more like stay in the background. But I persisted, I went to college for art, I majored in it. I actually was studying medical illustration, um, but ultimately moved back to New York into the advertising area and did my art. Um, we moved to Florida, we've been here a long time. I started going to some of the exhibits from Arts United and you can't not love everybody there. They are welcoming, they are kind, um, and, and they invited me to exhibit with them. And that's how I became a member. They are very generous. That's wonderful. And so D Diane, how about you? What is your story? Um, I, I was not an artist as a child at all. <laughs> Um, but as an adult, I started painting and, um, and I, I painted quite a bit. And then my niece called me one day and said, hey, you wanna take a ceramics class at the college for fun? And I said, okay. Well, she backed out, but I stayed. And I have to say that I became obsessed. I knew that very first day that I touched it that I was going to stop painting immediately. <laughs> so, um, and, and my obsession has never uh, wavered in, it's been, oh, 20, 25 years. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm, I'm totally obsessed with what I do. It's, it's so fascinating to, to hear um, your story because I remember there was uh, a piece in the Arts Warehouse. And when I saw your piece, your pieces coming into Bailey Contemporary Arts, 
I, I can see your style already. And if I, I, now I know that if I go anywhere else and there's a piece from you, uh, I can tell already that that has to be, you know, 95% chance that that's a, a Diane. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's wonderful real, to hear the stories. Yeah, they're a little edgy and I, I get recognized a lot. So, I mean, I guess that's a good thing because I, I, I have my own style. Yes, no, it is, it is a great, it, great, it is a great <laughs> thing. And Rosaria, how about you? What's your story? Well, I first wanted to be an artist when I was seven. And somebody must have discouraged me because I really didn't think about it until what I call my second coming out in my 30s. Uh, I had a art sculptor friend who also did photography. Uh, whenever she would talk about uh, her art or experience, I would, was very attracted to her energy. And then I took a class at um, a Parsons School of Design and um, it was continuing ed class in New York City. And from there, I started with sculpture. I went into sculpture, then I kind of did backwards drawing and I, then I went into painting. And I haven't been able to let it go since. And what I did is I tried to organize my life because I was a lawyer, then I went, went into academia as a law librarian. And I kept trying to build my life so I could be where I am now in Florida ever since I moved to Florida where I can devote my life full time to being the artist. And I love it, I love it. It's who I am, it's my essence. I like that. So you are you are the artist. And, I am. And, and the, you are. Back to I was when I was seven. <laughs> That's great. You know, you're embracing, you're calling that child again. Listen to, to her. I'll yes. <laughs> yes. So Chuck, how about you? Well, as I was saying before, I was, you know, getting up early and walking the beach every day. And my best friend who lives along the by the sea, she would post pictures of her sunrise on Facebook. And then I did the same. And, um, you know, at some point people started saying, you know, this is, this is the, this stuff's good. And they couldn't believe it was coming from my phone. And so they wanted me to, you know, start printing and putting it in exhibits. And I had been with Arch United since the beginning in 1999. Um, I came on as the treasurer and became president and then for years, and then I stepped away and now I've been back for a couple of years. So I was always involved with the group, just wasn't showcasing any art. I tried my hand at abstract painting for like a hot minute, thinking, well, how could someone tell me it's wrong when it's abstract? Well, it was a lot more difficult than I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. So I've settled on photography and um, and I really enjoy it. I've, I've got some people that buy my work, which is great. And I've been able to support some um, some charities with some donations. So it, it brings me a lot, of, a lot of joy. I give them away as Christmas presents. And so I still reluctantly call myself an artist. But he's great. I mean, he does help you. Um you know, showcase your talent. And I know that with phone photography right now, the cameras on their phones are absolutely unbelievable. And I know that they're professional photographers that they just made the switch. I mean, it's the camera that you can take anywhere. So in the end, you know, it's not the camera, it's, it's your eye. So, so that's wonderful. And with this, I have to conclude our conversation. I feel that we could feel an hour or more <laughs> of this great conversation. I thank you so much for your time and for allowing me to enjoy your work. It's been great to work with Arts United and to exhibit your work at Bailey Contemporary Art. And with this, I thank you and I bid you well. Thank you. Thank you.